Have you ever gotten tons of emails out of nowhere and you just don't understand why? Then after doing a little research, you find out that suddenly you've been subscribed to hundreds of email subscriptions. Well, hopefully this video helps you kind of sift through those and figure out what happened and how to get rid of them. Just the other day, I got a bunch of notifications for emails I didn't recognize coming through on my phone. So I logged into my email and I saw a subscription notification after subscription notification after subscription notification, most of them in English, but some in other languages, and this became a huge red flag. So I did a quick Google search and found out that if something like this happens, more than likely, it's not that your email account has been hacked, but someone hacked a different website, potentially using your credit card to purchase something, and they're using all these email subscriptions as a mask to hide the order that they might have placed. So I had to do a little research, go digging through my email, sifting through hundreds of emails. I found right here a couple days ago that Best Buy had an order placed for me that apparently someone logged into my account using my credentials and purchased a MacBook Pro. Obviously this was fraudulent activity. So looking at the address, it was being shipped down to some place in Miami, which I don't even live close to, although I am in Florida. And then seeing that the payment method was a visa that ended in 7774, that number didn't ring a bell, but I confirmed by checking all of my cards and then logging into all of my bank accounts just to verify that none of these were mine. But as a precaution, I'd recommend going through all of your bank accounts and checking every one of your accounts, credit cards, etc., and make sure nothing was purchased that wasn't authorized. Since it's Christmas time and there's a lot more fraudulent activity this time of year, it's a good idea to do this regardless whether you have anything fishy going on or not. After confirming there are no charges on any of my accounts that I didn't recognize, I called into Best Buy to go ahead and try to stop this as soon as possible because another email had already come saying that the order was out for delivery. They must have acted very quickly because a couple hours later, I'd received an email that my package was returned. And shortly after that, another email saying that my password had been changed through the Best Buy website so that no one else could use my account and place any more orders. Which I was thankful because the guy on the phone probably did this for me because it's something that had completely slipped my mind because I was so concerned about making sure that none of these charges were on my accounts. And now with all that being done, we have to move on to the most annoying part. I'd almost wished it was my credit card that had been used because I could have disputed those charges and gotten that returned and problem solved. But now it was my email account that was getting spammed over and over again with these subscriptions and I had hundreds and hundreds if not thousands of emails to delete now. And as you can see, this is a very tedious task, just clicking over and over again. Using the phone app was a little easier because I could just swipe left to delete all these but it's still frustrating because now you have to look at every email to make sure there's not one that's actually important that you don't want to accidentally delete and look over. But just deleting was not going to be enough because these emails were continuing to come in anywhere between 50 and 100 per hour over and over again. So what I had to do is figure out a way to unsubscribe to all of these, but there was no way I was going to be able to take the time to sit and click on each email, find the unsubscribe link, enter my email address, and then move on to the next one. That was going to take so long. I'd almost consider just writing this email off. It's always been my oldest email. AOL is the one I just give out to anyone anyway expecting spam, but I'd never had it this bad. So enter in a functional little website called Unroll Me that I came across. You enter in your email credentials, go ahead and click accept, and then give it permission to access your email and make changes. And once it loads, it'll pull up all of your subscriptions. As you can see along the top there, uh, I've already started doing this process. So as you can see, I've already got 398 new email subscriptions, although I've already unsubscribed to 225. And it's also got a little function as well called a roll up, which apparently consolidates your subscriptions. But either way, you can add something to the roll up if you want, keep it in your inbox, or just click unsubscribe, which is my main goal here, just to get rid of these. Every time you hit unsubscribe, it supposedly just removes that from your subscriptions. And it's a very simple click, 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 and you're done process. So once you've completed that, go ahead and click on the edit subscriptions and you'll see you've edited all your subscriptions. And hopefully that has allowed you to clear out your inbox. You'll have to go and manually delete everything, but it won't continue to spam you. 
And there was another email that just came in. It's been nonstop. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if this has helped you in any way. And also leave me a comment down at the bottom. You can tell me AOL sucks. That's okay. I'm aware. But either way, hopefully this helped you. And if you could offer any advice to anyone else looking for a solution here, be my guest. All right. Take care.